Hello, this is LJ Poppo. I'm working on Microsoft Word and basics of themes and theme options. This will be done for Microsoft Windows, though these skills should be transferable to other operating systems. So I have a document open, and what I want to do is I want to use something called a style theme and color font set. And it's easy to do because um, what happens if you're working in an office or you create a small business of your own, you may want your word processing documents and your spreadsheet documents and your presentations to have a similar theme of colors and fonts and layouts so that everything looks put together. So Microsoft um, Office has worked to create those opportunities. And in Word, you could do that through the Design tab and Ribbon. So right now, this particular document is in the default Microsoft Office theme. I could tell because it's grayed here. And I could change to a variety of pre-installed themes. Um, and I'm going to just pick one at random. Let's take a look at Banded and see what we get here. Now, when we choose this, we actually have some different styles within it that you could use. So it's all part of the band theme, but it would uh, affect how the title of things would come out. So I'm going to click a couple of them. Right now, what we have is a bunch of text that has no formatting except being in two columns um, in, on the second page and having some bullets here. But if I were to click on one of these, this is the default one. If I clicked on this one, now that's interesting. Oh, why is this not changing? We haven't actually set any styles. So styles are a different thing that we're going to work at in more detail. But just for kicks, what we're going to do is go to the Home tab, to the Styles group, and we're going to click up here, and we're going to just make a couple of things a little different. We're going to use something called a title style. We'll use something here in the style. I'm clicking on this icons drop down, and I want to see if there's a subtitle. And then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to see if there is a, let's see what heading one reads like. Okay, so here's three basic styles. I'm going to save my document really quickly. It already exists in a location. So I'm going to use Control S as in save. Then I'm going to come back to my design tab. Now we had come in here and we had cha and chosen the bandit. Now we can come in here. And we can take a look and see how this might change. See, I clicked on this. And now the title, the subtitle, and the heading one all changed based on some of these variations that are built into the banded theme. That's pretty cool. Another thing you could do is you might pick a theme where you say, oh, I really like the way this looks, but I don't like the colors. You could keep the theme and all these variants, but you could come over to this colors palette and you could choose another one. So maybe you want an overall warmer colors. Let's say red orange. So then the colors will change. Now it doesn't mean you're stuck with this forever. If you come to the home tab and you select a piece of text, you can come in and use the font color and have this palette to choose from. So maybe you want this to be actually a dark red and maybe you would like this to be a see a brown. So this is all still within the theme and still within the color change of palette to the theme. But that's how you can access that. Now say that you really liked, let's go choose another theme for, for fun, basis. Okay. Now maybe you actually like the colors, but you hate the theme. You can actually change the theme. So we're going to come down here and choose basis and work with this color palette. Actually, we like the color palette. We like the theme. But we don't like the font. So you can come over here and you can scroll down and you could choose something else. See? Now, one thing to note is if you make changes to a theme, the theme that you are on will no longer have a border around it because you've modified it. If you really, really like what you've done, you can come down here and save the theme and give it a name. Another thing you could do in this design tab is you can come down and you could select all the paragraphs. And apparently it's not selecting both columns, so I'm just going to select everything. How did I do that? Sorry. I held my control key down on a Mac. I think it's the command key. And I pressed A for all, control all. Then I'm going to come up and check out paragraph spacing. 
And right now it is in basic, elegant. I could make it more open. I could make it relaxed. So you can see how the spacing in the paragraph is changing. I could make it compact. You know, so you have some options there. I'm going to just leave those alone. Effects. These effects of um, effect, if you will, these effects work on shapes, lines, borders of images. You won't see them actually in the text. But say you were to draw a shape or something and you wanted some choices of your shape to have a bit of a grungy look to them, you could choose this effect. It would stick with the theme that you're in and the variance and the color palette and the fonts. It just would add that sort of thing. Another thing you could do is you can add page borders to your page. So say you'd like your whole page to have a, a box around it, and then you want it to be a very mild color. Well, let's, let's change the... Uh... Okay, so how did I get that? I clicked on page borders, and I'm in the borders and shading box, and I'm in the page border, and now I need to see about changing a color. It's automatic would be usually black on white paper. So I'm going to make it so that it's a very pale color like this. Click OK, and this is how I get a page border. You can actually change the page color, too. The thing to note is if you do this, it actually requires a printer that can print the color, and it takes more ink in order to change the color. Um, and it all, finally, it will not put the color out to the margins. Um, okay, I think that should cover it for just the basics of how you could change the design, the themes, and the, the font and color palettes. I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks so much.